What is up, everybody, and welcome back to Town Heroes, your source for all your budget Pokemon needs. I'm Ryhorn Trainer Steven. Pokey Scientist Sean. And today we actually get to do a couple things. One, we get to dust off a classic. Two, we get to show off a uh, show off a deck or a card that's actually starting to see a really big resurgence. Yes. And we get to make a fun budget deck showing a card that pairs really, really well with it. We're gonna be doing a Weavile list. But not oh, just wow. not just any Weavile list. We're going straight dark on this one. So without further ado, we'll just jump right in. Yes. So this is a deck that I... Uh, our first deck is fighting. <sighs> not Chomp. No, probably not Chomp. Be like rock. I don't know, but either way, I uh, so this is a deck that was built way back in uh, Crimson Invasion. Do we want to go first? No, because we want to start attacking first. So this was a deck that came out in Crimson Invasion. Uh, it got some play, but unfortunately it was there, just outclassed by a lot of good stuff. Well, not to mention there was something kind of stopped part of its strategy. Fighting. Gar Garb was one. Fighting got good. And got really good. And then, and of course the other one, just saying the other Weavile, Mr. Mime got a resurgence of play to keep it from really going anywhere. And then, then with the increase of Garb, shutting off abilities, the Rule of Evil one also wasn't used as much. Mm -hmm. Because other than Garb, you're not shooting anything. Yeah, so, th and even then, now what's trying to punishment... This this deck is starting to or this deck is starting to make a resurgence, and we made a couple changes to the deck, and well, of course they start us off like this. It could be worse. It could be worse, yeah. It could be the alluded to with nothing to do. And it, is it the only one of the two retreat costs in the deck? I believe so. Hey, we we've start, we've had worse hands. Yeah. Probably. So hopefully we. I can rock Savali. All right, so come on. Let's see what we can do. Draw supporter. Any of them? Well, almost any of them. Yeah, we need a draw supporter. We need energy. We need energy. Well, we hopefully have the energy here, so we can at least get one of those two effects going. But we definitely need more options because this isn't going to cut it right now. Yeah, so, screw you. So they're going right to the Savali or to the uh, Type Null. Luckily, he can't get the first attack. <clears throat> so come on, come on, come on, come on. Give us something good. Shrine. Lotto. Well, good. Now we can get. Now we. Now we can retreat. Yay! Now we just can't do anything else. I think this one's a bust. Yeah. This. This one's not. <sighs> you know. I simultaneously love and hate the online because of oh it's yeah there Buzz Rock. With a free retreater. Sort of. Something that gives a free retreat. But at least we can now start adding some damage. Well, as he gets the volley, it's going to be a clean, clean sweep, so. Because he's knocking out the one that makes this one bigger. And actually makes this one work. Well, that wasn't very nice. You shuffle the deck. But he also got got another uh, rock rough or another buzz wall. Uh, oh no! Wait, no, Diancy, you got to start being able to hit harder first. Guess you got your first target. Let's see, come on, energy, so we can at least attempt to lock it in the active. Oh, yeah, another one. Because more, more time to stall, the better. And one heads. Of course, what did you expect from that? 
Hey, but at least we got 20 damage. And they even heal from it. <laughs> Yet. Yeah. Ace roller, jet punch. No, in our luck. Is it really a jet punch? No, he would he would have Or a retreat jet punch? No point now. Actually he does armor press. And I got yeah. He does armor press. Honestly at this point yeah. Unless the top draw is a Cynthia. I yes. don't think we're going to win this one. I don't think this is going anywhere without it. Yeah. Evolve Pokemon. Which we don't need. I would have... I which we wouldn't have gotten. You know what? You, dumbbell, dumbbell. You know what I would have anticipated? It gave us both heads. No, we can't use them. No in our luck, yeah. Now we probably should concede, considering the fact we're not really going to do anything. But again, we play to the last card. You never know. One one shuffle draw can change the game. I mean, not much, but there's the Ace Rolla. He's got to bring up Zygarde. Z and then... DCE. Oh. No, Buzzwell, go he for the have, gut punch. He, he doesn't have enough energy in this card, because... If you had enough energy in this card, you would have gone. You would have gone for the Zygarde because you just mm -hmm. DCs on it. And then next turn, he practically one shots everything. So, it, well, he has a GX attack for two hundred net going, going into the next turn. So fifty thirty or fifty fifty. Fifty thirty. Only does the, only does to the venting. Cool shovel. Yeah, the Book of Hill to shuffle the deck. Cool, another valid targets. Shuffle the deck. He's gonna poke at the Sneasel because it's more of a threat now. Or just Guzma it up. Now he just throw a DC on that Zygarde down there too. Yeah, he DC to the Zygarde. Guzma? So, or he's just gonna go for the knockout. No, oh, you can just go right for the retreat. Retreat. No, there's no point. Mm -mm. Might as well just get the get he, some knockout. I have a feeling he's going to poke Sneasel. So there's one little tongue on, and then, oh. oh. He's just going to get him in range. Well, little tongue, you're going up because, well, we need one more turn. <laughs> Provide the... Cynthia. Hey, the shuffle the deck's working. It's not very well. Yeah, not well enough. Guzma, retreat, knockout. Even then, right now, the most we're hitting is 100. But if he gets a, if he gets a Guzma, he wins. So I don't even think he needs the Guzma. No, he needs the Guzma to clear the board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now we can't. Or most we're doing is a hundred. Yep. Because he hasn't benched the lichen rocks. Nope. And he's not. There's going been no to, need to. And he's not going to now because then it puts put it asleep. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> that actually kind of works. He can't use him out of it either. Well, he can Guzma out, but no, he cannot. We don't have a target. That's right. And if he has a free so that provides free retreat, are you gonna supply a switch? We uh, You're not gonna get the verse troll of the we're troll of the art everything to the we're trolling sleep to the last Pokemon. Yes! Okay. We might come on, come on, come you're, on, come on, come on. Prediction of switching around might have actually come through. Rangaroo. Fighting energy on the sneeze hole. Orangaroo. Orangaroo. <laughs> Ten and you stay asleep. No, we should have done it. Go, we should have gone into the 100 hitch. 
right now. How much HP does he have? 190. Well, take it 170, but he has a wishful autonomy. He gets to keep it. I can rock. There's the ring a group. I can rock. Yep. You can bring up the ring group. It just switches the active, right? It yeah. doesn't switch his. So yeah. yeah. So we got a Guzma target. <laughs> we got a Guz we got a Guzma target. Or do we just leave it there? Coco. Fan club. Or do you want a Cynthia? I want a Cynthia. I'm gonna Cynthia. If this comes back. Ooh. If this comes back. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We're not out of the woods yet. We are not out of the woods yet. Coco. We have the DC. Done. We have the DC. <laughs> what the? Shh, shh, shh. Nope, nope. Don't jinx anything. <sighs> and here I was getting ready to admit defeat. Oh. What, you don't like the smell of defeat? Uh, you can give him okay, a so, Okay, so Field Blower, he's getting rid of the Shrine of Punishment, so he's not stacking any more damage. That's okay. Well, not in our case, but we want that to happen. The second of damage. Now, right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, hold Can on. Use the DC hold on, hold on. Retreat? Okay, okay. Do you see the retreat? Retreat. Coco. Bring out Coco. Lily. Lily. We'll we'll leave it as is. Flip. We'll flying flip. We just need to start stacking damage. Okay, he's finally awake. But there's at least a good chunk of damage. <laughs> oh, now we're hitting 150 with a Weavile. Get that bad boy out. But now, can he get the one shot? Yeah. He can get it with the knuckle impact, but he can't get it with, wait, no, 50, 100. You know, you know. He's not getting it with jet punch. At this time. He's getting it with that. He is getting it with that. He's hitting the 70 and accelerating. Or he's just going to go with Land Wrath. There's no point to go on the other way. Exactly. Unless you're running Bonnie. I haven't seen him play at Bonnie yet. Nope. So we'll cut it. Safe. Boom, boom. That's just hilarious. It it may be hilarious, but it's. He's really on the other side. He's like, you know how many times I was locked into sleep. Uh, good shuffle take, draw. We'll keep shuffle draw going. Uh, Coco. Coco. You get as we get attach energy, attach it, but not keep a flipping. <laughs> Excuse me. So now. Holy crap! We didn't get that revile out. No, we we can't. No. We can't really get only the if out. it has to attack ever. Or is it the hunch crow we need? Out? To be fair, now it's a viable attacker right now. Yeah, everything's in range of revile. Very much so. Because let's see, that's fifty. Bonnie, that's why. One hundred, one hundred and fifty. That's one hundred and fifty minimum. And we Which have one, two, three GXs uh, with ability. Things with abilities. He did the Land's Wrath. He, did he, he kept his GX stack open. How Which, about we get rid of some energy? What are you thinking? We evolve. Because Coco's not ready. So want energy on Coco. Uh, uh, that's Tyner Ball. All evolutions are out of the deck. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get the numbers down, not out of the hand. Evil. Thing it's is, prevent all prevent all damage done. He's done. He did land wrath. Knock it out. Oh, he did. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Then we at least get two prizes. But he's got the he's, he's got, got to come back on buzz. That's eh, fine. To be fair, woo, that was close. Well played. You have a good deck. Smiley face. That's not too bad coming from a locked hand for 10 turns. I know, right? <sighs> and we actually started the, we had the Murkrows in hand. Sort of. We had the Murkrows in hand. Those are the Haunch Crow. We don't What's have the a, Fan Club. Nope. 
fan club we would Merc the Rose in hand by technicality. If we so went two, have, three more turns, we would have been sweeping. I think if we would have gotten that set up like two turns earlier, we would have fared a lot that better than That was still hilarious. That was still hilarious. That was RNG playing with everything. <sighs> you know what? We lost, but that was a really, really co We almost came back. But we got to try and punch a turn too soon because everything was just starting to stack. So, either way, this is pretty much based around Weavile and Haunt Crow. So, first off, we'll cover the, the Weavile. 90 HP, stage 1, 1 dark energy, evil am ammunition. 50 damage, plus, or that's 50 for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play that has an ability. So, a Ranguru, that's 50. A Ranguru and a, and a uh, Lele, that's now 100. The more abilities they have, the better. Beast Box, this would do easily, what, 200? Because let's see, you've got Malamar, Malamar, Necrozma. No, no, Beast Box would just be the, the, the Stag Attackers, and then any... Actually, the, it's a... Uh, they or, uh, or, sorry, uh, Beast Box is probably the worst example, because, well... Then the, uh, the Malamar... Necrozma, Malamar. Necrozma, Malamar. This all the Malamars? Do. All the Necrozmas, except Ultra? So... Yeah, we're still doing a massive chunk of damage. Any Zorkless, they run a minimum two to three Zork on the field, plus accelerators. Then we also run Haunt Crow, double colorless energy. It does 10 plus 10 more for each damage counter on all of your opponent's Pokemon. If we would have had the Haunt Crow, we would have started sweeping we had the every... Well, we if had we the had Murkrow. Yes. If we had Murkrows, we could have started just taking out everything. Yes. Because that was there was at least what a hundred. There was at least three, four hundred damage on the field. That's a uh, one shot after one shot after the, one shot after one shot. All the GXs had a hundred damage apiece. Yeah. So that's a one shot, a one shot, a one shot, a one shot. Yes. So and then uh, one of the stranger things is because of the fact we're running Coco to spread damage. We're using the Haunch Crow, which does more damage for each damage counter. And we're doing uh, Weavile. We were using the other Weavile, but we threw in some tech that... And it, kept, it probably kept shooting your own Pokemon. It did, because we threw in some tech that actually makes this quite more viable. And that is Lunatone. Lunatone. You can't that, heal. Yep. You, as long as you have a Soul Rock in play, both you and your opponent can't be healed. What is the main issue that a lot of spread decks tend to run into? Healing, mass healing. Big Masala, Luna, I uh, Leafeon, I yeah. uh, Gardenia, I uh, now the uh, the Switch Buoy. Elixir, Max, like, or max Potion. Switch Buoy, uh, you, can't, you Switch Buoy can't heal the damage you just switch. Yeah. So this makes sure they can't heal the damage. Yes. That it is there. Unless it is they, going nowhere. Unless they pull it to hand. Well, uh, unless, yeah, unless they a get rid of that wasn't a Guzma. Really, Acerola is the only way they're going to be able to heal damage. Yeah, I like to see him pull six Acerola. Yeah, most decks only run two, maybe one, two. two at most. So they have to rely on Palpad. That's average four to six a game. But That's assuming Palpads are nice to them. But if you're lining up enough knockouts with Honchcrow and with Weavile, it's not really going to matter. And then we also run the Soul Rock, which increases the HP of each of your Lunatone in play by 130. You heard us talking about this combo back in the hype video, and we found a really, really good use for it. Yeah. Uh, you also have, uh, for one energy, you flip a coin, heads, they're paralyzed, tails, they're burnt. If you absolutely need Stop to attack with burn it, them a little bit. like we had to, this is a good attack to do it. So other than that... And it's all pretty much running around the, the Shrine of Punishment, which, as of right now, is starting to cl really climb. It went from a dollar to six over a weekend. And now it's sitting at seven-ish, plus or minus a dollar? It's sitting for anywhere... the regular art. It's sitting anywhere from seven to 12. That's from the regular and the the, uh, the foil. Yeah, this so is as of, like, the other day, though. When either I way, right now it's hovering at about 10. So... This definitely shows that Shrine is now a very, very viable deck. And About I think time. this is a really fun way to do it. 
So we'll just jump right into the list. We run one Oranguru because again, we always want to make sure we have cards in hand. We run a 2-2 line of the Haunt Crow with, uh, from uh, Guardians Ride. Yeah, Guardians Ride. Yes. Uh, double co because of double color synergy, it does 10 uh, plus 10 more for each damage counter on the opponent's bench, which is really good. We run uh, a 2-2 two -two Weaver line. We run the Evil End Mission just so that we can also run the Soul Rock Lunatone and not one-shot them. If you're not worried about your opponent healing, you can easily drop those out and run the, the one that does 60 to each Pokemon with an ability. Because then the only thing you're hitting is a Ranguru. That just comes down to play style. I like to be able to keep the or keep the damage counters on instead of adding more. If that yes. makes sense. We run uh, we run two Lunatone and two Soul Rock. The Soul Rock we run from uh, Celestial Storm and the Lunatone from Sun and Moon Base. Uh, Burning Shadows. That's Burning Shadows. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, the Burning Shadows Lunatone. Uh, we also run three Coco. Because if you're going to spread damage, the really the best way to do it is with Flying Flip. Just 20 to everything, 20 to everything, 20 to everything. Uh, we run two Energy Lotto. You get to look at the top seven cards, reveal an energy, put them to your hand. This deck is relatively reliant on double colorless energy. So the sooner we can get DCEs, the better. We run three Nest Ball so that we can search our deck for a basic and put it into, onto the bench. That's a Murkrow, which we could have used several of in that last game. Yes. Uh, that's Sneasel. That's uh, the Soul Rock that, Lunatone. That one was a... That one was a fluke, but we made it work. We almost, almost. Came, we came back strong. We just, had a lot of lined up. We had the steam just a little one a couple turns too late. Uh, Pal Pad so that we can put... We run two pal pads so that we can shuffle supporters back into the deck. We run uh, two rescue stretcher so that we can put a Pokemon either to our hand or shuffle three into the deck. We run three timer ball. Uh, we could use ultra ball, but almost every resource is used, and I still have faith that timer ball is going to work. Yes. Even though nine times out of ten, it, at times it doesn't, but we try our best. We run three Shrine of Punishment, because again, we want to spread as much damage counters as we possibly can. Shrine of Punishment is one of the more effective ways to do it, especially against the GXs now. As you just witnessed in the last video, it, in the first game. It, it really starts adding up. Uh, we run four Cynthia. Again, hand refresh. We need, we're constantly refreshing our hand to get what we need. We run three Guzma so that we can pull out specific targets or higher priority threats or and, things and knock bench those out. You want to stay down there taking damage. That too. Bring out something like a, or a Ranger to the active where it's not as useful in decks. Uh, we run two Lily because every now and again we just want to make sure that we just draw up to six. If we can draw any of the draw engines. Yeah. So as as long as we get set up properly, if we at least Lily, we make sure that we have we don't get rid of our hand entirely. Like if we have a DCE, we're just waiting on a Murkrow. This can make sure that we get the Murk. Uh, with our Rangaro, it did force a uh, another ability coming down. It did, but it's only your opponents. Uh, we run two Pokemon Fan Club again. We're trying to set up as soon as possible. Uh, if only we could have gotten that instead of having to burn the burn Cynthia. Uh, we run three Tate and Liza, so that either A we have our shuffle draw or yes. we have uh, or we have our switch. So both are really really good. We run three body building dumbbells because both Weavile and Honchcrow have relatively low HP. Just we want to a little bit more survivability. Just a bit more. So they can attack maybe twice versus once. Exactly. Uh, we run four double colorless energy again, mostly for uh, for Coco and for Honchcrow, because both are really DCE reliant. And we also run eight dark energy, just in case. Just and in case. we all need to be able to attack too. So without further ado, you don't mess with the boss, and then we'll jump into another match. So it's versus. Da, 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 da. Let's see if we get a better setup this time around. Because this deck is... Oh, we got advantage, so this might work. And then Fire, Water, Dragon. This is going to be fun. Uh, Tails. Tails never fails. Tails never fails! Do we want to go first? No. 
You're trying to figure out why I'm doing this. Something tells me we're not going to like the deck we're going up against. My guess would be it's Salamence. A it's a dragon fighting water. Garchomp, Lucario, Vulpix. Using Hollow Sleeves. Structure deck? We're hoping. But how many structure decks make it to tier three? Garchomp? Only? Let's see. Or is Garchomp going to play with the big boys? How would I call it? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that water Pokemon's a Vulpix. Oh, yeah, easily. Because my deck has been using Vulpix since basically... The start? Yeah. Beacon. But we can at least... Beacon's probably the best early game attack ever other than Coco's. But at least we can start stacking on damage early. We're going to need it. And remember, in this, in this deck, Shrine's useless. Cynthia. We could Lily for four. We need more Pokemon. We do need more Pokemon. So yes, I like Lily for four, but I want to Cynthia for more Pokemon. Um, uh, throw. How many demos do you have? Four? Uh, three. Save it. Save it for now. In case we need it. Hey, keep it for now in case we need to burn a card out of hand. We're going to have to throw a DC on Ranger just so it can at least not be caught off guard. Hopefully, if we get Murkrow, we could salvage this. So that's yeah, going to be like Garchomp by. 1. Surprised you so, didn't go for the Lucario. Because Garchomp's more important, slightly. Because yep. he, he can. Because <laughs> there, there's the reason. Because now you can Ascension right to Garchomp. Yeah. That's... I still like the ability one. Because it gives me free retreat. Mm hmm. If you would laugh at free retreat, it was like, but free retreat is. Viable. So we'll probably have to throw DC on Ranger just in case. Because they're going to pull Garchomp in range. Except the thing is, is all the... I would just keep it as a backup attacker, because one more sin 10 damage, he can get a knockout. True. Why you do this? Because he gave us one game, it's like no more. It barely gave us one game. Uh, timer ball... Just grab, just grab Weavile because we can at least get a hundred off of those. And flying flip. Unless you want to throw one on Lunatone just to. No, we don't need to throw anything on anything at this point. Huh. Honestly, I figured just so that we can. Flying flip. Because it pulls guards up in range of or Orangaroo. Because now, depending what he got out of Cynthia. Because he wasn't Lucario, because he would have benched, he would have evol evolved him immediately. Yeah. There's Lucario. They're either Lucario or the second Garchomp. Lucario. Hopefully they're here. I would grab Lucario at this point. Yeah, he's got the Lucario. And when the deck comes with at least one, and that's a reverse foil, that means he has at least two. Yep. All right. And so Cynthia, there's... and he's going for the one shot. That's why I had a Ranguru, so that we can get the backup attacker. Okay. So we get the backup swinging. Yeah, that makes sense. And to be fair, I would love to do a Rangor on uh, Lucario, except for Lucario has 110. We only have to swing it for 60 unless they throw an energy on it. And to be fair, I don't tag Lucario unless I have to. Ever. If I'm tagging Lucario, it's probably the GX. Oops. Uh, now he has access to any two cards in deck. Yep, which means we need to start dealing with those ASAP. But we're at least always dealing 100 with... I wonder if my list has been spreading around somewhere. I don't think so. If anything, it would be local. Yeah. So now... Well, it's not, now they can't heal at all. But the thing is, Gardrum doesn't want to heal. He just wants a hit. thing is, I don't think we're getting this either, but we can at least get one chomp. Because when he has access to chomps, he has access to any two cards that fail. I don't want to goose my either. Not especially when one's already powered up. Doesn't really matter at this point. Let's get the knockout. Yeah. I, it doesn't work against this deck. So now... Guard chomps, my guard list actually runs two of them. Good run a third one. 
So now Lucario is going to grab a DCE. Lucario is going to grab a... Uh, he's going to grab a DCE, the, he Cynthia. Got the and then he's going to go and grab Cynthia or Palpad. At this point, I just go... I just grab... So it doesn't really matter. Oh, he's going to grab a DCE. He has to. Unless he's waiting for the dig. He has to find a DCE. Because he has a power attack right now. I still don't get how, like, Garchomp is a powerful list, but I never see his play outside of online. Cynthia. Is that really the only reason it's Cynthia? It's expensive. Cynthia? Make it, we'll make him we'll make him have to use it. We'll make him have to use a uh Oh, we could trap one of the active. That's what I'm hope and hope, hope is gonna happen. And hope they were weren't smart enough to run Paralyze? Yes, we got paralysis. Yes. And hope they weren't smart enough to run par uh a skateboard. A skateboard, Because you skateboard. can literally search out for them whenever they want. See, this is kind of why I wish they were the old rules, which you can't use the abilities while they're affected by a special condition, so that we could have shut this off. However, in the video more game, than once... In the video game, you can still use your ability. Your abilities are still on, unless something's turned them all off. Yeah, but even then, more than once, we've ran into an issue, or we could, we've been paralyzed, and we've still had to use an ability. So, it's... It's game bro. Yep. Hey, he's running escape rope. But well, he's not getting the massive hit. He's not getting the knockout this turn because he's how. Yeah. He's digging for palpas now. So now, da, da, da. copycat would work really great in this one. No. Copycat would be really good about now, right but right now. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, there's the Vulpix. That's the only you bring out early game. Nest ball. Um, Sneasel. And then hopefully. Praise hopefully. The top, praise the top decks. Hopefully, all Arceus will praise us with an energy so we can at least start swinging for 100. Now, would you believe me? Garchomp was good until. Well, How much HP does Garchomp have? 150. He's good. He's, He's really good. good. You want to crash test? I'm good. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Paralyze the guard trap in the active. Or oh, Arceus, hear our prayer. Paralysis. Paralysis. Jeez. Yes! And what's so, Does he know, have a second escape rope? All Garchomp lists are you're running to. Minimum. Because you can't run Guzma I'm it's effectively. In the, I'm hoping it's in the prizes. Don't jinx this. I don't have to jinx it. Just pl playing with my own deck strategy, I run minimum too. But you run, escape, min you run minimum. You run minimum too. They don't. You don't know that. Somebody, I may have actually given out my list on Verbeck once upon a time. No. Guzma. Waste of a card in that deck. At, the, at this point in the game, no, but. And that's the times two. Yep. Fertilize the card in the active. Ouch. Ouch. Because it was going up against Garchomp. What can you expect? Said it was not responding to you because it was against Garchomp. So you're not gonna fight our own Pokemon. It's not gonna. Literally trying our best right now. We are digging like so hard. Come on. Okay. We could actually done burn that turn. You know why? Well, he he would have retreated, gone into the Garchomp, putting more damage on the field. Okay. True. To be fair, we need it. We do need Guzma this turn, though. Well, and mm -hmm. Onchro. That's actually perfectly fine. 
even though he's got only one prize left to get, or after he knocks this out, he'll have one prize left to well, get. To Wait, be... no, he Guzma, so he... He got knocked out on that one. So he's got a knockout on that one. You know what? If we're going to lose, I'm going to... Kick it, kick it and screaming. We'll go kick it and screaming. Because he got the knockouts. Well, it's forward. in range. It's in range. No, it's not. Only to not get what we need. Stop it. But and so it does Blade is like me and look. Cat retreat. Let's see if we can stall him out. No, with that one. Oh yeah. And paralyzed. And oh. burn. And that's game. Well played. You have a good deck. Smiley face. I know he has a good he has a good deck. <sighs> we got so close the second time around. Or the first time around. The first time was just hilarious. Uh, I, think, I think that'd be about it, though, because... Yeah, uh, Garchomp really is a solid list. I just wish we would stop showing up against a, Garchomp. I'm still working on a post list. Well, the thing is, is that's pretty much the list. You, It's only a couple changes no, in terms of... The post list. Or at least the one I'm building. Yeah. I'm, try I'm trying. Yeah, either way... Uh, Again, you can make changes to the deck. Easily drop out the the drop out the stones. Put in the other uh, the other weavil, and and it might perform a little bit better. Hopefully, you're not always going up against Garchomp like we always seem to for some reason. Uh, either way, this really is a fun deck. Please, please just don't let let this be a, a, an example of like a bad deck. It really is good. Just. But just, either just way. pay attention to that first game. That it really shows how the deck could come should. back. Should. Should perform. work. Should perform. Me, planning that they had a few more prizes for us to pick up the game. Yeah. Uh, but either way, uh, let us know what you guys thought about the deck. Uh, let us know down in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Become a Poe Town Hero yourself. Uh, hit us up on PTCGO. We are Poe underscore Town underscore Heroes. And also be sure to check us out on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Poe Town Heroes. As always, may all your games go well and may the top deck be in your favor. Till next time.